We are here for a topic called ranking. How many of you know what's ranking? Uh, anyone? You can just raise your hand since we are huge in number over here. Please, uh, you know, please no speaking all together. We'll go turn wise. You raise your hand. I'll give everyone a chance to speak. Anyone, do you know what's ranking? Hello, ROE. Please turn on the camera. Okay, you get ranks in your schools for your exams or sports, whatever it may be. Do you get ranks? You or your classmates, the teachers mm -hmm. give you ranks, right? At the end of your exams. Yes, can you please explain what's ranking? Mommy? Yeah, Nathan? Nathan, everyone, please be on mute. Uh, uh, ranking basically means that uh, 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 the how far are you from the uh, uh, from the starting point and the uh, ending point? Okay, okay, that was the uh, that's the literal meaning that you gave in respect to the reason why we are here that is in respect to reasoning but if you go in general meaning okay if you go to the general meaning of ranking ranking does not actually hold does not actually hold true only to how far are you in a queue or where you stand in a queue the literal or the dictionary meaning in, irrespective of which topic you are concerning it with or attaching it with Ranking means where you stand. What is your position? Where you stand? Like in your exam, after your exam, on the basis of the report cards, how well a student has scored, the teachers allot your ranks, right? Yes. So that's also ranking. It's not just your, where you stand in a queue. Yes or no? Yes. It's just like where you stand in a class, where you stand among your classmates in the whole class, right? Or if you're talking about sports, yeah, everyone has sports day at their schools, hopefully, right? So yes. when you if you participate in any any form of race, what happens? Depending on who who reaches first or who completes the race first, or whatever is the criteria of ranking the sports, right? The race. On the basis yes. of that, you get ranks: the first, second, and third. Who stood first in the race? Who stood second in the race? Yes or no? You get ranks yes. in race also, no? So ranking. Mm -hmm verbally or literally literal meaning of the word ranking if you go dictionary wise is where you stand okay all of you so this is yes. what you are going to learn about now as far as so see the definition ranking basically means the process of determining the position or place a person or thing holds is it clear a person or thing holds compared to the position of other person or things falling in the same criteria. Of course, in an exam, you cannot be ranked on the basis of, let's say you are in standard six. So obviously you will be ranked depending on the result of all class six students. Yes. It does not happen like you will get the rank on the basis of how the entire school has performed. No, that doesn't happen. It has to be the same level of uh, comparison. Correct? Like if you're participating in a relay race, you, you get the rank on the basis of how the other participants of the relay race has completed the race. Obviously, you don't get compare, rank on the basis of comparison to a sack race or 400 meter race or free run anything like that isn't it? it it it's a certain criteria on the basis of which the comparisons are made and the rankings are provided understood all of you a quick nod if everyone understands if everyone agrees rather okay thank you so much moving on so what are the types and order of ranking what are the types of order of ranking first as nathan said you can either uh, compare you are ranked from left or right. Isn't it? You can compare your rank from left or right. As you can see over here in the image, suppose assuming it to be the number of people standing in a queue. 
So the white one looks different. So what is what could what can be the rank of this person from left or from right? Both ways. The second type of question, types means over here, I'm trying to define the types of questions that you get on the basis of ranking, okay? So either you are asked what is the rank of any person or thing from left or right or total number of people in the rank or in the row. Number of people between two people. Let's say there is a person called M standing here. There is a person called T standing here and in the middle, how many people are there? Obviously, the question will be mentioned on the basis of which you have to figure that out. Okay, all of you? Cameras on, please, everyone. Next, interchanging the positions. I'll explain all of this as and when you proceed with the slides, you will get to know. Interchanging the positions. There are These are basically questions you get in the alphanumeric puzzles. I'll tell you what are alphanumeric puzzles. More Ratio-based problems. So these are the different types of problems that you can get. Okay. Now, one by one, we'll all look into all the different types. See, first one, tips and tricks. There are many more tips and tricks. Okay. There are other tips and tricks also that we obviously that we get, uh, that we elaborate in our regular classes. Okay. That you get to know when you get to study the entire thing in details. So over here, first one is position can be either from si either side of the row. Suppose I stand here. My name is Shreya. So I stand here. Say so let's write the initial of my name as. So I can calculate my position from either side. From left as well as from right. Okay. Depending on the information provided in the question. Or I can also compare my rank from top or bottom. Suppose I say five people are standing in a queue height wise. So I can compare, let's say I'm the, I'm at the middle. So I can compare like this also my rank from top to bottom. What I mean to say is ranks can be calculated either from left to right or top bottom. Both ways it can follow horizontal and vertical. Okay. Next says candidates can calculate the total number. What's the rule of finding the total number of people standing in a row or a column? The rule is total person is equals to rank from left plus rank from right minus one. Let's see that with an example. See, over here is an example which reads, in a row of students, John is eight from the left Eight from the left, that means seven people ahead of him. Yes or no? That is why he is eight, na? Correct, all of you? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Twelfth from right. Twelfth from right means eleven people behind him. That is why he is twelfth. Correct? Yes, ma'am. So, how many total number of people? Eleven behind him, seven ahead of him. Eleven plus seven? Eighteen. And one John himself. 19 correct so this is the pictorial pictorial way you can represent it like this and figure out if you go rule wise or formula wise what was the rule position from left that is 8 plus position from right that is 12 minus 1 why minus 1 see the 8th person is who is the 8th person john the 12th person is also John. That means I'm I'm taking John into consideration two times. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes? Can I take the same person two times into consideration? Can I take the same person two times into consideration? No. No. That is why I subtract once. This one actually resembles that I subtracted John once. Okay, because I have considered him twice. I had considered him twice. So 12 plus 8 makes it 20 minus 1. So 19. The same answer. Hence, 19 is the answer. Understood, all of you? Anyone, any query? Boys and girls? No, ma'am. Kartik, Harini, no, Shorya, the ones who joined late. Shorya, JKS. Oh, what's your name? Turn on the cameras. Sahasra. Harini, Pallavi, girls, do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
Students, repeatedly, I'm telling, can, you please, can I please request you to turn on the cameras? The class looks more interactive, okay? It looks good when you are with the cameras on. Okay, so this is how you use the rule or the formula to solve ranking questions. These are the basics, okay? the See, the solution is over here using tip two, the second tip that was there on our slide, rank from left plus rank from right minus one. That makes it eight plus 12 minus one, 20. That means 19 students are there in the row, okay? Moving on, alphanumeric puzzle. I just I just uh, used this term a few minutes ago. Okay. Yes or no? See, these are also called as like, you know, interchanging. Over here, the example that is provided, that's not interchanging example, but you get interchanging questions. I'll show you that also one. Alphanumeric puzzle. That means what? As the name suggests, an Puzzle, which has alphabets also and numbers also involved in them. Yes or no? Alphanumeric means that only, na? Alphabets and numbers both jumbled up. I want to attend one. In such cases, yes, someone saying something. Okay. In such cases, what is what happens? How many times a number or an alphabet has followed a certain rule is asked. For example, if you see over here, this is one example provided. And my question says, how many fives are there in the following arrangement, each of which the rule is mentioned. You don't have to just count the number of fives. The rule is each of which immediately precedes an even number and is not followed by a six. So see the first five is over here. Preceded by an even number, yes. Not followed by a 6? Yes. So I take this 5 into consideration. Next 5 is over here. Followed by an even, uh, preceded by an even number? Yes. Not followed by a 6? Yes. So this also suits my criteria. I take this also into consideration. Next 5 stands here. Followed by an even number? Uh, sorry. Preceded by an even number? Yes. Not followed immediately by a 6? Yes. So this also I take into consideration. Last is this one, preceded by an even number, yes. Not followed by a six, no, it is followed by a six. So this five won't come into the consideration because this five does not follow the rule. Yes or no, all of you? So how many fives as per the criteria? One, two, and three. So my answer is three. This is how you solve alphanumeric puzzles. Understood, all of you? Understood? Yes, okay. Next, another type of ranking. In ranking, you may also get, sorry. You may also get logical sequence. Logical sequence as in certain uh, options are given to you and you have to identify the sequence on the basis of your daily life, okay? On your on the basis of your day-to-day -day life or logically what you think should appear and then arrange Miss, them. Can I... Yeah? Miss, can I... Okay. What? Someone saying something. Miss... Yeah, say, who is it? Can I tell the answers? Yes, Karthik, sure, go ahead. Pop first birth, okay. second birth, third school, fourth college, fifth marriage. Okay, you slightly went wrong. If you observe it closely, na Karthik, it's not kid, it's kids. Yes or no? You take birth, so you can become only individual. You are a kid. In that case, your sequence would have been correct. But it says kids. So what's the sequence? Anyone, I take birth, I am a kid. I cannot be kids. Can I be kids? So these minute things matter, okay? Birth, I take birth. I go to school. Then I go to college. I get married. And then I have kids. Okay? If it would have been kid, then you might have into a dilemma that kid would come last or in the second place after taking birth. Okay? 
there the dilemma appears and there the doubt appears that what should be my correct sequence. But since it's S, it, the question becomes very easy in that case. Very easy. Yes or no? Yes. Understood, Karthik. So do you understand? So this is what logical reasoning is about. Reasonings are easy. But slight minute things that you need to be, uh, that you need to observe very carefully. Okay. Logical reasoning is all about that. Your talent of visualizing. Okay, all of you. Coming to time sequence, as you might understand from the name time, that means where days, dates, calendar comes into existence, right, all of you? So here's an example. If Monday falls on the second of a month, then which day will fall on the, uh, sorry, which day will fall two days after 10th? See, Monday falls on the second of any particular month. The month is irrelevant. Is it clear? Now, how many days in a week? How many days in a week, Amo? Seven. Seven, correct. Seven days in a week. So, if second was a Monday, that means plus seven. Ninth would also be a Monday. Yes or no? After seven mm -hmm. days, it would be the same day, na? Yes, Correct. Do you agree, all of you? Yes. Yes. So ninth is Monday. So tenth would be then Tuesday, Tuesday. obviously. Tuesday. And two days after ten. That means two days after Tuesday is Tuesday. Thursday. 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 Very good. So this is how you need to solve questions based on time sequence. Am I clear, all of you? Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Very good. So here are a few examples just to strengthen up what you just went through. See, the first question reads, in a row of boys, Atul is ninth from left, 29th from right. Ninth from left and 29th from right. That means how many number of boys? Total number of boys is 9 plus 29 minus 1. Yes or no? Following the second rule. Correct. 29 plus 9 minus 1 is how much? 37. Huh? 37. 29 plus 9 is how much, Jason? Jason, 29 minus 29 plus 9 is how much? Um, 38. 29. Yeah. Huh? 38. 38, correct. And minus 1 makes it 37. That means the total number of boys is 37. Now it says Mukesh is in the middle of the row. Mukesh is in the middle of the row. Then what is the position of Mukesh? See, obviously 37 is an odd number. You cannot divide it into two halves. Correct? But you can divide 36 into equally into two halves. Na? That makes it 18. Yes or no? That means 18 boys on the left, 18 boys on the right, and Mukesh in the middle. That makes it total 37. So what is Muk position of Mukesh from right end? 19th. Understood all of you? Do you understand? So I repeat what I did. Depending on the position of Atul, I found out the total number of people or the boys in the row. And on the basis of that, since I know 37 is an odd number, and Mukesh is in the middle. So we can subtract 1. That leaves me with 36. 36 now I have to divide equally among two sides. That is left and right. If I divide 36 equally, that makes it 18. So 18 on left, 18 on right. Mukesh at the center. That means 19th from both ends. So that's my answer. Is it clear, all of you? Okay. Coming to the other one. In the word powering, in the word powering, first all the vowels and then all the consonants are arranged alphabetically. I repeat, in the word vowel, sorry, powering, all the vowels and then consonants are arranged alphabetically. So, Shahishra, can you tell me what would come first? Which letter would come first if they are arranged as per the given criteria? Ma'am, E. 
Correct. Why? We are arranging the vowels first. We pick out the vowels O, E and I. Now these vowels, I need to arrange it alphabetically. So E. Next, what does what do I write? Um, I. I. And then obviously the third vowel O. O. Good, Shashra. Okay. Next, what do we have? We have to arrange the consonants. So, Ditesh, if you have to arrange the consonants now, the remaining alphabets, P, W, R, N, and G. It what would I G. write first? G, ma'am. G, correct. Next. Ma'am, next. next would also be, ma'am, next would P, then after W, and after it, it's no. G. N. You missed N. N. P. N. Then P. Then W. Then R. Then, then R. W. Then. Okay, all of you. Okay, students. So what I did first, my question read all the vowels, then the consonants. So I picked the vowels. I arranged them alphabetically. I picked the consonants. I arranged them alphabetically. So done with done and dusted with the first one. Next, my question says which letter will be fourth? To the left of second letter from the right. C, to avoid confusion, the rule is don't read the question from starting. Read it backward. Second from the right, isn't it? Second letter from the right. What is second letter from the right? R. Fourth to the left of it. To the left of means this side. Fourth. One. Two, three, and fourth. Which is the fourth letter to the le uh, second of right? O. Oh. O. Oh, so that's my answer. Whenever you get such questions, you don't read it from the starting of the statement. You read it backward. That helps you solve. Okay? That helps you avoid the confusion. Am I clear, all of you? Anyone, any confusion? My next, my next example harini arrange the given below words in the order as per their appearance in dictionary in dictionary yes, how are they arranged harini harini how do you see words in dictionary ma'am uh, alphabetically alphabetically correct so among these words which one would appear first uh Ma'am, Mercury. Mercury, correct. After that? Miss me. One minute. Everyone would get a chance. I know you're excited to answer. Ma'am, yeah, ma Harini. Uh, orange. Orange, good. Then petrol. Petrol, very good. Then rice. Then rice and then showroom. Showroom. So just looking at the first alphabets, you arrange it. Easy? Yes, ma'am. So one, five, four, three, two. That's the sequence. Just look out, look for uh, look for it. Which option gives you the correct sequence? Ma'am C. Option C. So that's our answer. Okay, all of you. Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Did you understand? Yes.